The purpose of this video is to provide an introduction to Microsoft Visual Basics Data Connection and Data Aware Components. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio Professional 2013, but your steps will be similar regardless of the version of Microsoft Visual Studio you're using. Let's begin with a new project. File, New Project, Visual Basic, Windows Forms Application, change the name, location, and solution name, and choose OK. We're going to add our data connection using the Data Sources window. You can find it under View, Other Windows, Data Sources, or use the shortcut key combination of Shift-Alt-D. You could also make the data connection using the SQL Server Explorer. But we'll use data sources for now and choose, here it is on my left, choose add new data source. The data source type will be a database, choose next. The database model will be a data set, choose next. The data connection, choose new connection. It is a SQL Server database. This came from the doc sharing tab of our course and this is the karate.mdf file. Choose OK. Choose Next. This is important and we're going to try this both ways. The connection uses a local data file. Would you like to copy this into your project? First we're going to choose Yes and make a local copy of that file and place it in our project. And choose Next. You also, in this step, you may get an update message that says, would you like to upgrade your version of your SQL Server database? If you get that message, choose yes. It's perfectly fine to update or upgrade your SQL Server database. We're going to choose tables. And we only need the members table. Finish. Notice here in your Solution Explorer, we have a local copy now of our MDF file, and this, the XSD, this is our data source. It also appears here in our data sources window. Here's our member table. Here's our fields. I'm going to expand the size of the form to accommodate. I'm going to click and drag our table onto the form. Visual Basic automatically created a navigation bar where I can page through records add a new record, delete a record, and save changes. It automatically created a data grid. And I'm also going to click and drag individual fields onto my form. I'm going to align my fields. And run my program. Here's my members table. Notice when I change records, the records are updated here in the individual fields. I can also page through my records using my navigation bar. I'm going to make some changes to my data. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to close my form. I'm going to run it again. Notice my changes were not saved. That's because this is a local file and the changes are not failed, saved locally here. It's essentially just served in a local, in local memory. Now we're going to create the project again. Only this time, I'm not going to copy the file to my local directory. I'm going to leave it where it is, stored on my computer.
This time when I run it, I'm going to again make some changes and save my data. I'll close my form, rerun it, and my changes have been saved. So that's an important note. Two important notes. You may s receive a message to upgrade or update your database as you move through your connection, and that's perfectly fine. Choose OK to do that. But when you receive the message to do the local connection, you probably want to say no or experiment with it both ways. When you say no, it will keep the, the version that's stored on your computer, and that way you can see the changes made to your database. This has been an introduction to Microsoft Visual Studio's data connection and data aware components.